Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday. I'm about to have <laughs> literally just a plain bagel with butter. It's like a real boring breakfast and a protein shake. That's my breakfast this morning. It is uh, nine o'clock. I've just gotten out of bed. I've been up for like three hours, but you know, gotta do nothing on my phone for three hours. That's a productive use of my time. Good news, you guys, from the last vlog, our hot water has been restored and I've simply reversed any any water that I saved in the like several days that we didn't have hot water by taking like 15 to 30 second showers was completely reversed with the most luxurious, glorious shower of my life yesterday once the hot water was fully back on. Anyway, just wanna give you that update. <laughs> and dishes are getting done and mass. Oh, it feels so good. Yes, today is Saturday and we are doing a couple of baby related things today, I guess, or like maybe prep related things today. One of the things is we're going to set up my car, set up both of our cars really, um, by like doing our best attempt at installing a car seat. I have an appointment with the California Highway uh, safety patrol to like check that we do it right but we're gonna install them ourselves to the best of our abilities and by we I mean my husband and then also just like put up like the baby safety mirrors the sun safety shades all of the like little car accessories that we've accumulated um and I also just need to generally clean out my car so that's the plan today that's one of the plans today the other thing that we need to do today that's like tangentially baby prep but also just like something that we have to do every year is take the cats to the vet. I really, really wanted to make sure they got their annual appointment in before the baby was born because I just feel like <laughs> taking two cats to the vet at the same time is already such a task. To do that and have a newborn feels like an impossible task. So we're doing that today. Normally that is something I can do by myself, but just because the cats are a little bit heavy and I do have to bring them both at the same time, I scheduled it on a weekend so that Mario could help me just carry the cats around. The reason that I have to bring them both in at the same time is because if one cat goes to the vet, or really if one cat leaves the house for any reason, which the only reason they really ever leave the house is to go to the vet, and then comes back, something about the smell of the vet freaks the other cat out and then they're like really hostile. The one who wasn't at the vet is like really hostile to the other one for like a couple of days and it's very stressful. So if they both go at the same time and then they both come back, we eliminate the possibility of any of that hostility. Um, I know it has a lot to do with like the scent of the vet, like the non-vet cat can smell it on the vet cat. It was really, really bad when Tuna had his emergency surgery. He was at the vet for a couple of days. He came back, he was trying to heal and simultaneously Beethoven was trying to like fucking murder him. <laughs> so we literally had to keep them separated and I slept with Tuna, I remember on the floor of my office. This was in our old apartment and, uh, or sorry, Mario slept with Tuna, what am I talking about? And I slept with Beethoven, <laughs> just because we had to literally keep them separated. It was so brutal. That's like a very long-winded explanation as to why we're taking both cats to the vet, which no one really cared about or asked for, but you know, it's my vlog and I get to do what I want. It's called Rachel Rambles. All right, I gotta eat this before my fucking bagel gets cold. So bye. Alrighty, breakfast, check. Starting dishes, check. Still have lots to do up here. Clean up, make bed, shit like that. Shower, get my shit ready for the day. But I actually have editing to do. Still just mostly trying to get ahead of my own maternity leave and make my February not psychotic. So um, I just wanna finish up a video that I got really close to finishing last night, but I was like two hours into overtime, so I didn't wanna push it. Um, ooh. So I'm gonna do as much as I can in like an hour and then I'll take a shower. This is actually for the first March video. I'm doing, and then I'm working on the second February video starting on Monday. I'm doing them a little bit of out of order just because of the, how I received the footage and the order in which they shot them. But it should be a bueno. Oh. <laughs> Look at my tuna. Oh boy. My tuna is just hiding behind me. He's a very good boy. Okay, we just got back from the vet. Mario just brought the cats inside so they weren't just sitting here while I got a vlog clip. Cats are great, clean bill of health. Their teeth look great, which is of course always a thing you worry about with cats. Their coats look great, they're healthy. Just, she said they're just perfect looking cats. And of course they're so sweet and nice at the vet. Like every vet loves them. Yeah, cats are good. Clean bill of health for the next year. Also this morning, I ended up editing for two hours. I thought it was only gonna be one hour, but it ended up taking me two hours to just finish the whole video, um, which I just wanted to get over and done with because why not? Um, but while I did that and the two hours it took me to do that, Mario installed the car seat. 
it's sitting backwards obviously that's how it's meant to be but yes he installed the car seat fully in my car and then we had a second base and he installed the second base in his cars but you know just clicks in and clicks out of the bases so that's a huge thing off the to-do list like if i were to go into labor today now we at least we have the car seats all set up i still need to hang like the shades and the backwards mirror but it's almost two o'clock and i'm gonna go inside and make lunch we have a lot of food left over from the week because the hot water was out so i was like hesitant to cook big meals because we had no way of doing the dishes um so i gotta cook some of the meals that we had planned for the week today even though it's saturday and I usually saturday is a leftover day not today Alrighty, i figured i would go through how i make my chicken and rice so basically i have marinated chicken thighs they're just marinated in taco seasoning <laughs> i cook them over medium high heat with olive oil three minutes per side they're kind of like par cooked then i take them out and i add in some diced onion and diced red pepper to the chicken fat that was left over but i also add more olive oil and then i saute that for like another three or four minutes then i add like roughly three or four cloves of garlic and two tablespoons of tomato sauce i saute all of that until it smells really yummy and the tomato sauce kind of cooks down then I add two cups of rice and however much salt is in my heart and I mix all of that together. Once that's well mixed, I add about two and a half cups of chicken stock and I wait for that to come to a boil. Once it's boiling, which usually takes like, I don't know, five minutes, I take the chicken thighs that I had pulled out earlier and I put them back on top, I put the heat on low, I cover the pot and then I walk away for 20 minutes. <laughs> When I come back, the rice is cooked. I take the chicken back out and I add in some frozen peas and I fluff up the rice with a fork. What's the word? Oh my God, my brain. I uh, chop up the chicken. There's a better word there. I don't know. I don't remember what it is. And uh, add it back in and I mix it all up. And that was lunch. Hello, it is... Uh two days later. So I, I, I don't even know if I said this, but the car seat that we installed was the Upper Baby, Upper Baby Mesa. Um, we got this car seat because it's part of the whole like Upper Baby system. We got the stroller with the bassinet. That's the bassinet that we're also using as his bed bassinet upstairs. And that's the whole system that my boss has. It's also a system that two of my friends are using and all of them highly recommend it. But I really took Sierra's recommendation to heart because that girl is always going to Disneyland and like eventually several months from now, that's the plan. So I was like, hey, if it works for her, it's gonna work for us. Um, but I also just liked the idea that like our car seat works with the stroller. It's got a toddler seat that works with the stroller that I know works great because Sierra has a two and a half year old that still uses it. The bassinet thing works and we didn't have to buy a separate bassinet you know so it, it was expensive it was a gift for my parents so we didn't have to purchase it it was expensive but it's ultimately very economical because the cost of the whole thing which was like a grand i want to say is our car seat our bassinet and our stroller for our kid up until he's like two or three i would assume and then also there is a way to like make it multifunctional for multiple kids if we were to have another anyway i don't even think i mentioned that that was our stroller brand so if you were curious that's what it is um mario installed the bases of both of our cars and he put the car seat in my car but we had a couple of accessories we got these or they were on our registry everything that we got when i say we got like they were on our registry and so someone my washing machine is going off so if you hear noises that's why someone got them for us i wanted to set up these accessories but i wanted to go through these accessories that we have for the car i don't know if i'm going to set them up because it is pouring rain outside i hate the rain Okay, I absolutely hate the rain. It's so funny because, you know, we don't get a lot of rain in Southern California. It's like once a year and it's around now that we get like, um, if we're gonna get rain, it comes in now, right? And everybody's always like, oh my God, it's such a cloudy, gray, gloomy day. Blah, 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 I love it so much. I don't know why, but I somehow, like every time I'm on Instagram when it's raining, all of the Southern California content creators and influencers that I follow are like thrilled beyond belief. And I'm just like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Obviously rain is good. California needs rain, California needs water. I'm not saying that like rain is bad. I'm just saying that I personally fucking hate the rain. I hate it. <laughs> I am not into the gloomy days, gray skies. Hello, I live in Southern California for a reason and that reason is that I like that 95% of the time I can walk outside and it's 75 degrees and sunny. I'm just not like other girls. <laughs> no, I don't know, I hate the rain. And I just generally don't wanna do anything like outside related when it's raining, although I have a lot of places to go this week. But I'm gonna open up everything that we got I'm gonna need scissors and show you like what our car accessories are. Oh, 
So, first thing I got, which I already held up the box, is these things. You know, you hook them up to your car. Actually, I could just install these when I go outside because they're just suction cups. But push button to retract. Is it this button? Well, it doesn't matter because I'm probably gonna always have these things down, but... Oh, is my lens dirty? I'm sorry, I'm just now realizing that. There you go. Oops, I zoomed you in. One of the things I'm saving for is a different vlog camera. I've had this camera forever, but that is a totally different conversation for months from now. Anyway, it's these things, you know, you... Uh, I'm so confused as to what they assume I think the button is. Oh, there's a button that... I'm an idiot. Okay, that is easy. I could not figure out the button. Okay, so you know, you put it on your window, you roll it down on days when it's not rainy, which is 95% of the time, it, the sun in California is intense. So this way it creates shade. Boom, up it goes. So that's gonna go on both the back windows in our car, in my car. Mario's car actually has these built in. He drives a, an Acura MBX and I guess it's just like part of the car. Now that I know where the button is, that's fun. I could not, I thought this was the button, but this apparently is like, a white hot heat alert so if this goes from red to white we're in trouble we're also ac people so i'm not i don't foresee that being an issue okay another thing we got and this is like less like safety and more just like fun everything else is kind of safety related am i a baby maybe so this is obviously like an activity like a sensory activity i don't even know what you would call this toy car seat toy i guess a musical travel bar activity toy attachment so you just string it across the car seat handle and it's got all kinds of sensory things. I don't know if it's something that he's gonna need like right away, but it's a cute thing to have and I'm gonna keep it in the car and see like when this becomes developmentally applicable to him. Maybe right away, maybe not. I don't know. How many times can I say in these videos, I've simply never had a baby before, but it seems cute. Okay. And the final thing that I have for the moment for the car is the uh, safety mirror. So you know, the car seat is facing backwards per like safety regulations. When I look in the rear view mirror, I have this installed in such a way that I can, like the mirror, you know, the mirror looks at the mirror and then I can look at the baby. So I can be looking at the baby. So we have two of these, one for my car, one for Mario's car. Oh, and I have to assemble it. Oh my God. Slide the swivel mount onto the slot on the strap block. Make sure the retaining lug slides up to lock the lug in place. Aha. Locate one end of the swivel mount into the mirror cavity. Well, that was much easier. And then this is how it's gonna hook onto my headrest in the back, so that's easy, but this is the exciting part. Very satisfying. We love that. Don't be telling me this is not a box for you. And so yeah, those are all my car accessories. Not crazy, just the mirror, the sun shades and the little toy. Um, and honestly, all of these seem extremely easy, so I'm probably just gonna go in my car and install them right before I head to the grocery store. I've got a couple of other little chores to do around the house before I go to the grocery store, so I will catch up with you guys then. Oh my God, I've set this thing off so many times. Oh, I turned the light on because it's so fucking dark out today because of the rain. There's really no good place to put you. Here, you're on the car seat. Well, that's about as straightforward as it can get, eh? Look, now he's got shit to play with. Let's see. Hmm, okay, this is making the assumption that my headrest in the back goes up, which I don't believe it does. Oh, my, my seats go down, I didn't know that. Ugh. No, it does not, okay. <laughs> Let's start here. There is an anchor back here that I can use. Okay. Well, I'll have to play with that obviously to figure out the right configuration, but we're in the good we're in a good zone. So then I just have these two things. But you know what? I'm just going to leave them in here for now. Not install them today. They're in the car, they're out of the box. They're in the right place. Mario will do that for me later when he installs his mirror in his car. I have to go to the grocery store. I've been doing laundry all morning. I My fucking Braxton hip contractions are like very frequent and painful. Not like painful, but painful is the wrong word. No. Braxton contractions are very frequent and tight. And uh, I just feel like I've been lifting a lot of heavy shit with the laundry and I'm just, why am I, who cares? I'm not installing the sunshades. You guys don't care. But I do have to go to the grocery store. Oh, I just took the trash out. I was like, I feel like I just lifted something else. The fucking trash. It wasn't that heavy, but you know, I'm such a baby and it's rainy out and it's, ugh. And I'm just sitting in the back seat of my Tesla talking to a camera with an enormously too bright light. Okay. Actually, I think this is where I'm going to end this vlog. This was just like getting more shit off my to-do list. So taking the cats to the vet, check, and they're healthy, which I love to hear. And, um... What else? Uh, 
setting up my car. The car is pretty much set up. The only thing I have left to do is these sunshades and uh, make sure that I take this to the California Highway Safety Patrol to get them to check it out, but that's like a later date thing. Um, and I don't want to vlog that because I don't like vlogging strangers when they're just trying to do their job. Um, unless I've previously asked permission. Anyway, more things off the to-do list, you guys. I can't believe it. Right now, as I'm talking to you, I'm about to be 36 weeks, which means four weeks to go until the due date, starting like a week from now. I could theoretically go into labor at any point, which is kind of crazy, but I feel really, like, really well prepared. Every week, I do, like, a couple little incremental things. I feel more and more well prepared, but, like, getting the car seat in and getting the cats taken care of of was and you know thankfully there's nothing wrong with them and that they'll be good for a while like was just a huge huge step forward in feeling accomplished and like I'm getting things done uh, because like now the car season and that's like one of the things that they require to have for the hospital so it's like holy shit this is like we're ready to go everything else that we have to do really is just like icing on the cake I'm gonna be packing my hospital bag here soon I'm gonna be doing some like not meal prep like freezer prep but like I do have to clean out our freezer and then I'm gonna do a big giant Costco run and we can talk about like my meal plan -ing plans for when the baby is here that'll be a whole future vlog yeah I mean there's still things to do but like nothing so pressing that if I were to have this baby it would be the biggest deal in the world but I'm not I'm, I'm only about to be 36 weeks so I'm getting a little ahead of myself here I know things can happen early I am aware of that but <laughs> I like to just work off the assumption that everything is going to go the way that I want it to until it doesn't. And then that'll be fine. Or until it maybe doesn't. Also fine. Oh, also something really cute. My aunt texted me yesterday that she made little like uh, goodie bags for all the nurses in the labor and delivery unit. She's like so crafty and good with stuff like that. So at some point I have to go pick those up from her. I did not ask her to do that. She just like got the idea off Pinterest and made them. Here's some pictures she sent me. They look so cute. So that was not my to-do list, but that's just another thing that I that think that'll make me hopefully the nurses will like me more because I'm gonna give them snacks and gum and stuff and uh okay I'm just stalling I gotta go to the grocery store and you know what the longer I wait the hungrier I'll be when I'm there which is just so dangerous so I'm really seriously gonna end this vlog here you guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>